Since I started using Convalidate in Unity, I always met two types of programmers. First, telling that you need to write if preprocessor instruction before it, and second, telling you needn't. I don't like guessing, so I decided to check it. So I preferred Unity project wrote a script with 1000 lines of code inside on validate function and create a build of this. Then I added bounding if Unity editor directive and prepared new clean build. Results were rather invisible with the naked eye. I prepared some other tests, created multiple instances of object on scene, made builds and note the results. Then created more scripts, made builds and note the results. Next switched off development build, made build and note the results. And over again. In summary, I did 7 tests for both non-if and with-if builds and here are the results. I checked every build size by number of bytes to be sure how much was the difference. I get from 30 to 70 kilobytes difference on every script depending on build type and script line count. I also checked size of app when having empty on validate function and it will be no surprise that it doesn't take any space. But more interesting is that on validate with debug functions like debug log or debug log error takes more space even on non-development builds. Does it mean that Unity doesn't remove debug functions from code entirely? Maybe. We can assume that realistic onValidate function will have dozens, up to several hundred lines, and with this we can calculate that one script without preprocessor directive took something between 1 and 50 kilobytes of space. That's a big discrepancy. But how this looks from entire project perspective? If you have a project with 100 scripts checked by onValidate, which is realistic amount for a small project, you can save about 100 kilobytes to 5 megabytes of data. If you have medium-sized project with 1000 scripts checked by onValidate, you can save about 1 megabytes up to 50. For big projects with 10,000 validated scripts, this will rise to even half of 1 gigabyte. But it can also be just 10 megabytes. So should you put if directive before on validate? I don't know, I just show you the difference. Remember that those are only theoretical calculations. Size of difference is related with how many code you put into on validate functions. Remember that there are some other functions used by Unity only inside editor, like reset or on draw gizmos, so you can probably save some space also on them. Anyway, there are no more excuses. Unity doesn't exclude those functions from build by default, and we can save some space by including them using preprocessor, no matter how much it will change. Thank you.